And despite several new shopping centers breaking ground in Greenville, a local commercial real estate broker says the city is not growing as fast as it should. WNCT's Brandon Goldner explains why filling a months long job vacancy within city government could improve economic conditions. As progress continues on the construction of two multi-million dollar shopping centers in Greenville, commercial real estate broker Michael Overton says progress growing Greenville's economy has slowed. At least from what I hear from other associates from other firms, it's not growing to the level the city's on. Despite a Hobby Lobby, new restaurants and other shops being built along Memorial Drive, Overton says he and other commercial property firms in the city have seen very little new business, in part because the city's not attracting enough large companies to create high paying jobs. That magnifies and helps to create the retail demand, the restaurant demand. It's the city economic development manager's responsibility to attract those companies, but that position has remained vacant since April when former manager Carl Reese left for Electric Cities. Assistant City Manager Merrill Flood expects a new manager to be hired within the next several weeks. He says the city's still growing with companies like the grocery store Publix interested in the area. I think there's been a healthy sort of uh, uptick in the amount of uh, reinvestment into existing commercial properties. I think you're seeing that all around town, particularly in the Memorial Drive corridor and others. Overton argues without a manager aggressively attracting jobs, the city's quality of life will suffer. I, I feel in order to have a good quality of life, we've We've got to have the tax base to generate the revenues to invest in those things. Brandon Goldner, nine on your side.